Have you ever wondered about cochlear implants? There is a surgery that some people have gotten inside of their ears, which can help their tinnitus. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, audiologist and founder of Treble Health. Today's video will focus on cochlear implants and how they can improve someone's life with tinnitus. Now, an important note before we start is that to qualify for a cochlear implant, you have to have a severe degree of hearing loss. And I know that most of you watching this might be thinking, well, that's not me. But I encourage you to keep watching this video because I think you'll learn a lot about the comprehensive approach that we have to hearing loss and tinnitus and how there's always something we can do depending on the problem that our patient has. First, let's describe what are cochlear implants. Inside of your ear, past the eardrum, there's an organ called the cochlea, and that is responsible for passing sound waves through the ear and eventually turning them into electrical signals that reach the brain. Through hearing loss, whether that's by medications, loud noise exposure, the natural aging process, those cells, we call them hair cells or stereocilia inside of the cochlea, they can lose their function and die over time. This might mean that someone has a progressive hearing loss and they start to use hearing aids so that they can communicate and understand speech easily. But over time, what we typically see is that someone has a progressive hearing loss and over time it becomes harder and harder for them to understand speech and conversations. So they end up using hearing aids, which help to some degree, but if the hearing loss gets worse and worse, then it becomes harder and harder for them to understand despite having powerful hearing aids. Hi, a short interruption. If you have tinnitus and are looking for solutions, take our tinnitus impact quiz to learn what solution is right for you. Go to tinnitusquiz.com where you can take the free quiz. Now, if you have tinnitus, also pronounced tinnitus, you may be wondering, am I destined to have this severe degree of hearing loss because I have the ringing in my ears? No, it's a myth that tinnitus causes hearing loss. At times it can make it harder to concentrate and understand people in background noise. There's some research that supports that if you have ringing in the ears, but really it's just a distraction from being able to hear. So don't fear that your hearing is going to get worse because you have tinnitus. A cochlear implant is a surgery which goes in just behind your ear. They open up those bones and then they put in an electrode into the cochlea, the hearing organ. Once that electrode is placed, then you wear a device that looks like a powerful hearing aid. It sits up and behind your ear with a piece that goes behind your ear into that bony part. And through a magnet, the receiver, which captures the acoustic information of the world around you, passes the information through the skull, through the head, and then it gets received by that electrode, which eventually gives the electrical information to the cochlea, and that cochlea sends the information through to the brain. So it's truly a revolutionary surgery that's given back one of the five senses to individuals that were deaf or had such de serious degrees of hearing loss that hearing aids didn't work for them so well. Now, some individuals have a severe degree of tinnitus and some hearing loss, and they may be considering their options for how to reduce their tinnitus. So in some cases, severe tinnitus can be improved with a cochlear implant surgery. And for those who are curious about this, of course, watch the rest of this video, but also I want you to know that there are medical centers that if you're considering a cochlear implant or just curious about it, after you watch this video, if you're still a candidate, you can go to a cochlear implant center, which is typically in a large city where there's a big ear, nose, and throat clinic. Typically, this is a university research hospital, and you can ask for an evaluation to learn more if you are truly candid. Cochlear implants address hearing loss because they stimulate the high pitch or high frequency regions of the hearing organ that were previously struggling to process sound through. So it really restores the clarity of speech in many cases. It's not perfect, it's not 100%, but for those with a severe hearing loss, it can restore their speech understanding, especially in quiet places, so that it really changes their lives. And I've worked at a cochlear implant center in San Francisco during my audiology residency at UCSF Hospital, which is a university hospital that saw all kinds of different patients, some of the most challenging cases. And it's true that the cochlear implant surgery itself, it really can change lives for children as well as adults. In recent years, the candidacy for who can qualify 
fluorocochlear or implant surgery has really opened up. And that means that if previously you were a borderline candidate where the surgeon wasn't strongly recommending the surgery, now you'd be more likely to try it and to see how well it can improve your hearing or your tinnitus. So let's talk more about tinnitus and cochlear implants. It's well known that 30% of individuals with hearing loss report significant tinnitus. It's clear that not everyone with hearing loss has bothersome tinnitus, but what makes this interesting is that many with severe hearing loss do not have tinnitus. So tinnitus is not only an ear condition, but it's really the connection between the ear, the brain, and this global brain system that is responsible for generating bothersome tinnitus. Research has demonstrated that cochlear implants can potentially be beneficial for someone who has tinnitus. And those research studies cite that between 25 and 72% of individuals noted a positive change with their tinnitus after the cochlear implant surgery. For many, this means that when they're using the device, that the added stimulation, the added auditory stimulation going into their brain provides relief and reduces their tinnitus perception. That's probably the most common response to bothersome tinnitus after a cochlear implant surgery is that when you're using the cochlear implant, the tinnitus is much easier to live with and it's more manageable because the presence of that new sound, it changes the uh, signal to noise ratio in the brain and all of a sudden the tinnitus is less notable, noticeable, less front and center. So that would be a positive uh, response for someone who uses a CI, a cochlear implant for tinnitus. And for those of you who aren't a candidate for a cochlear implant, this same response can happen with the use of hearing aids for tinnitus, as well as tinnitus maskers in some cases where you're using this device, it's adding increased stimulation into the auditory system and the brain has a positive response, which leads to less tinnitus perception. Now, what happens when you take the devices off? Well, you're back to your baseline level of tinnitus in most cases. However, through the retraining process of the brain, something that we specialize in a lot at Treble Health, you're able to see that the baseline level of tinnitus can improve over time and it can be trained in a positive direction. It's worth noting that in some cases, cochlear implants don't affect tinnitus at all. And for those who choose to get the surgery and the primary reason was because of their tinnitus, unfortunately, in some cases, the cochlear implant surgery just doesn't change the tinnitus, but rest assured that there are other things that can be done. And before considering a surgery for hearing loss and tinnitus, make sure we've tried things like tinnitus retraining therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, etc. Underneath this video, you'll see a link to tinnitusquiz.com. And if you go to that website, tinnitusquiz.com, you can take a questionnaire quiz to understand the impact tinnitus has and to get a score of how severe your tinnitus is. So cochlear implants can be effective for tinnitus, but I'd also like for you to watch this video above my head, which talks about hearing aids and how they can be used to manage tinnitus as well. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson with Treble Health. Thank you.